Hello everyone. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. Yes, the 1024 Ranch, starring your radio and screen favorites, Dick Foran, Martha Mears, and the Sons of the Pioneers. Transcribed and brought to you by your Dr. Pepper bottler and the thousands of Dr. Pepper dealers from coast to coast. And here's our pretty little boss of the 1024 to sing for you. Keep an eye on your heart, every moment we're apart. Keep a lookout when you're stepping out, you belong to me. Keep an eye on your heart, don't upset my apple cart. Keep your sweet charms out of other arms, save your love for me. When you're tempted, won't you make believe you dreamt it? Just remember that a stolen sweet would be indiscreet. Don't go near lover's lane, let that old moon shine in vain. Keep the coast clear, there's no telling here what the moonlight will start. Keep an eye on your heart, oh, when you're tempted. Don't you make believe you dreamt it. Just remember that a stolen sweet would be indiscreet. Don't go near lover's lane. Let that old moon shine in vain. Keep the coast clear. There's no telling, dear, what the moonlight will start. Keep your mind on your keep, a spy on your keep, an eye on your heart. Oh, well, 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 well Miss Peggy, well. swell. <laughs> and right about here is a good time for a few words from Art Gilmore. Come in, Art. Thank you, Dick Ferrand. I wonder whatever became of those business big shots and society matrons who used to persuade their doctors to order them away for a change of scenery. It's a cinch they're not doing much traveling now, and they're probably needing some sort of change more than ever before in their lives. In these times of strain, the hard workers among us really need an occasional release to relax our nerves and relieve our minds of the stress. We can't spare weeks, but we can spare moments. Take them. Fill them with the pleasure and relaxation you can get in a five-cent bottle of Dr. Pepper. It's so luscious and satisfying, it helps to clear your mind and to relax and refresh your tired body. A cold bottle or glass of Dr. Pepper really does brighten you up. There's new energy for you in this liquid bite to eat. Escape from monotony. Enjoy Dr. Pepper daily at 10, 2, and 4 o'clock. Private in the army, I should be glad, but I'm sort of sad for the gal I left behind me. That sweet little gal, that two little gal, the gal I left behind me. I should be glad, but I'm sort of sad for the gal I left behind me. In my old pup tent are the things that she sent, and a letter to remind me of my mom and dad and the fun I've had for the gal I left behind me. That sweet little gal. Oh, I get that, but 
Mr. Foghorn, Foghorn, what's that got to do with the lightning bug? Yeah. Well, can't you figure it out, Dick? Them out. Oh! <laughs> son of a gun west of Wichita, yeah. got a slick trade in Gower Gulch last week. Oh, For five bucks and an old pair of spurs, Carl got himself a cow pony. <laughs> At least, uh, he thought it was a cow pony. <laughs> only it turned out to be a milk wagon horse. Oh. <laughs> and now, the only way that Carl can chase a doggie is to get up at two o'clock in the morning saddle up his milk wagon horse and rattle a couple of empty milk bottles against the saddle horn. <laughs> <laughs> When the wind blows out in Plainville, it sweeps the prairie clean. The sand hills fly and the cows go drive and the rivers run upstream. When the wind blows out in Plainville, they change the map each day. Towns move around and once they found out city and Santa Fe. It's a great life in Plainville where balmy breezes blow. It's a great life in Plainville where things are on the go. Pretty, ain't it? When the folks way out in Plainville are hanging in the trees, they never mind, it's just a kind of a playful western breeze. Uncle Ned had 40 acres, and he planted in the sky that Uncle Joe in Idaho will harvest by and by. It's a great life in Plainville, don't weaken when you say. It's a great life in Plainville where the winds blow every day. Oh, Uncle Lou in Kansas City blew by one windy day. Hello, farewell, they heard him yell. I'm sorry, I can't stay. When you've lost your home and cattle and they're sailing o'er the hills, just smile and say, oh, that's okay, the government pays the bill. It's a great life in Plainville where prairie breezes play. It's a great life in Plainville if you don't care what you say. <laughs> Oh, well, Dick, the 1024 hmm. Ranch has been on the air one year today. Say, that's right, Miss Peggy. Well, let's see. That must be three times a week, 156 times. <laughs> yes, sir, Dick. And on this special occasion, don't you think you ought to sing a special occasion song? Well, Miss Peggy, there's, there's one song that I've sung three times here from the ranch, and I'd like to sing it again. Once I sang it particularly for a very dear friend's mother in Mineral Wells, Texas. Then again as a special request from two people in North Carolina. The third time it's for a couple getting married in San Diego, California. And now, now it's for a young flyer who's in Kelly Field. And a girl whose name just happens to be Kathy. I'll take you home again, Kathleen. Across the ocean wild and wide To where your 
heart has ever been since first you were my bonny bride. The roses all have left your cheek. I have watched them fade away and die. Your voice is sad when e'er you speak, and tears bedim your loving eyes. I'll take you back again, Kathleen, to where your heart will feel no pain. And when the fields are fresh and green, I'll take you to your home again. I'll take you back again, Kathleen. And when the fields are fresh and green, I'll take you to your home. Thank you, Dick. Now here again is Art Gilmore. Old man Diogenes spent a lifetime going around with a lantern looking for an honest man. That's what I call patience and determination in a good cause. Remember, Diogenes, when you have a little difficulty in finding that Dr. Pepper you want. It won't take you any lifetime, thank goodness, even if rationing does bring about an occasional sellout at your dealers. Just borrow a tiny fraction of that old boy's patience and determination. Wait till the dealer has a new supply of Dr. Pepper, or try somewhere else. Almost surely there's another cooler or a fountain nearby where your search will be rewarded. No need to accept a second choice. Only an honest man would satisfy Diogenes, and only a Dr. Pepper will satisfy a real Dr. Pepper fan, which you'll surely become once you get acquainted with its unusual flavor. Drink your energy bite daily at 10, 2, and 4, or whenever you're hungry, thirsty, and tired. through the courtesy of Universal Pictures, the Sons of the Pioneers by arrangement with Republic Studios. Martha Mears is Miss Peggy, and this is Art Gilmore wishing you good luck and good going with Dr. Pepper at 10, 2, and 4. And remember to buy all you can of Uncle Sam's war bonds and stamps. 